Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, guys, today's beer comes from Ventura Coast Brewing. And of course, they're out of Ventura, California. This is sent to me by a fellow named Justin. And he contacted me and said he watches the channel and wanted to send me a couple beers. And I said, absolutely. So I provided the, the shipping information and he shipped me a couple of beers. And I got them today. And, uh, got a note in the box with it. Uh, sometimes I get those notes, sometimes I don't. Uh, and he sent me a note here. And uh, this is uh, the note that he sent to me. He says, uh, this is uh, two of the uh, favorite, some of the favorite breweries in his area. Uh, both are from Ventura County, Southern California. Uh, so this is the first one. And this one's called Improbability Drive. And he says, uh, uh, as of a week ago, uh, Improbability Drive is apparently out of stock to be bought. Uh, and he doesn't go into detail whether it's a brewery only release or, or these are available in stores. He, he may post comments on that, guys. Uh, and it says uh, this was a limited, limited 1,000 can run that they did uh, or they started on February the 6th. There is no printed date, but it is 45 days old as the day he packed it up and sent it to me. So we're in that area there, 45 to 50 days old. Uh, and, it's, and, it's, and what's what struck me, you know, I thought he was just, you know, it's seen the channel or watched the channel, and he maybe he has, uh, but this is the first time I think I've had any correspondence from Justin. And he says, uh, the can features my artwork. I won their fall can design contest. Now that is impressive to me, guys. I, and the, the artwork, is, it's black and white here on the can, but uh, very nice. It's, it's got a, a whale and uh, some trees and mountains and stuff on it. Justin seems to be a very talented fella. And I'm going to read what it says here on the can. It says, Pint Size Show. This label was selected by a popular vote at our Fall 2021 Pint Size Show. The Pint Size Show provides an opportunity for local artists to showcase their work, connect with the community, and potentially have their art used on VCBC cans like the ones you're currently holding. For information on the Pint Side Show and other VCB events, visit us online. And it says artist Justin B. Miller. And has his, uh, uh, I guess his Instagram IG at Justin B. Miller. 7.1% uh, says Hazy IPA. And it's got the uh, government warning label on here. And that's pretty much it there, guys. So, uh, I appreciate Justin reaching out to me and sending a couple of beers from his vicinity, but I'm super proud that uh, he's got his artwork on, on the can here. So, very, very impressive, and congratulations, Justin. That is awesome, my friend. Uh, you're a talented individual, no doubt. You were chosen, so you were, evidently were at the top of the list there. So, awesome. I think that's great. So. I appreciate uh, the, the beers you sent, my friend. So, and we're going to start off with Improbability Drive here. He sent me another one, but we'll do that. We'll get into that when I do it. Uh, it says Ventura Coast Brewing, Hazy IPA featuring Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic Cryo Hops. He said this beer is zesty and smooth with the right level of tang to balance its aromatic sweetness. 7.1%, I've used 23. Notes of peach, pineapple, and passion fruit. So, uh, I could not... I found Ventura on uh, Beer Advocate, but I did not find that beer listed. And I had to do a little uh, extra digging because when I typed in Improbability Drive, it returned uh, a beer with that label from another brewery. So, 
I had to dig a little deeper to try to get into the that one from this brewery. So, uh, and they are calling it on Untapped a New England slash hazy IPA. So, 7.1%, so it's not quite into the double range. Uh, still considered a single at 7.1. So, let's uh, check out Improbability Drive with Justin's artwork on the can, on the label. That, that's super awesome. I think that's awesome. Brings a smile to my face to see somebody uh, that likes beer and not just hiring somebody that drinks Kool-Aid <laughs> instead of beer. So, super awesome. Again, congratulations, Justin. All right, guys. They're definitely very hazy coming out. Hmm, we're right at two fingers of head on that, and guys, it's a bright orange juice color. I mean, that it definitely looks like a New England style beer to me. Yep, super hazy, super cloudy, looks super awesome. Hmm, to the nose we go. Oh, yeah, super citrusy. And remember, this has got Simcoe, awesome hop, Citra. Awesome hop and mosaic cryo hop. So, three outstanding hops there, guys. Citrusy, I mean, oranges, mango, peaches, pineapple. I mean, it's got it all going on there. Okay? A very pleasant smelling beer. So, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dutchin. Thank you, sir. Congratulations again. Mm -hmm. A very unique taste. Very smooth. Kind of subtle on it, on the, the taste. It's very easy drinking for 23 IBUs. I mean, super smooth to drink. It's almost like drinking a juice. It's so smooth. That's very nice. That is a very pleasant beer. It's 7.1 in my go-to range. If this is available at a decent price, uh, it would be a good pickup. But since this was such a limited run of only a thousand cans, guys, that's not very many in the aspect. Uh, Budweiser probably does that every minute. A thousand cans a minute. Uh, so, I mean, you know, look at how many different breweries they got going on in print in uh, and canning beers and stuff, so I wouldn't be afraid to say that Anheuser Busch is probably canning a thousand cans of Budweiser every minute with all the breweries putting them in cans. So just guessing, just throwing that out there. But this is a thousand run can. It done. So I don't know how many gallons that would be. You could probably sit down with a calculator and figure that out. If we did a thousand cans and then they were sixteen ounce cans, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It's a, Take a, I can't do it in my head, but it doesn't take a rock scientist to take about 10 seconds or 15 seconds on a calculator to figure out how many gallons that would be. So, small run, small run, tasty run, very delicious beer. Uh, Justin, yeah, I don't think it's uh, world class, and, and if you do, I would not argue with that one. One I would, I don't do that anymore. I don't argue with people over the quality or the taste of beer because taste is so subjective and. I kind of learned that a long time ago. You don't you don't downgrade if your your buddy sitting beside you and he's drinking a Miller Lite, and you try to get him into drinking something. Don't downgrade what he's drinking. Just say try this. This is close to what you're drinking, and it, it may evolve into something uh, different or better. Uh, but just to say, you're drinking horse piss. I mean, that's not the way to get him into drinking craft beer, guys. So got to nudge them slowly. Keep nudging them until they get over there to it. You just don't slap the taste out of their mouth and give them something good. That uh, don't work a lot of time. <laughs> anyway, guys, full glass. We're going to go sip on it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Very tasty beer. Uh, it's a New England style. It is tasty, but 
I don't think it's to the quite to the quality of uh, of a treehouse or a trillium and maybe even a hot butcher and several others it is super tasty and being a super limited edition I feel very privileged to have my hands on one of these and Justin thinks a bunch and so awesome your artwork's on the can I mean that's that's an impressive label and a, I'd be very damn proud of it myself if I had had that accolade in my on my resume so uh, it's, an, it's a very tasty beer guys uh, I enjoyed this I mean, with the hops that they're using, uh, I am getting the peach pineapple, and they say passion fruit. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of citrusy orange. Maybe a hint of some grapefruit also. Uh, yeah, didn't get the peach. It's probably there, though. Like I said, most of the time, if you keep doing that, and keep tasting it and sipping it. You, you'll you'll find that flavor. So, very nice. Uh, tasty beer. I liked it. I would probably purchase this beer. Uh, but being one of a 1,000 can run, I feel very privileged. So, I don't cook. Uh, very tasty rare beer or limited edition beer. I enjoyed it guys. I, I think it's a tasty beer. I'm giving it a 90. A minus on this one. Uh, I don't think Beer Advocate had anything to say at all in this because it wasn't listed. <coughs> and I'm thinking this is a fairly small brewery. Uh, so uh, I don't know what kind of distribution again uh, whether everything's picked up at the brewery uh, or they have a small distribution or, or exactly what's going on there so we might get more information in the comments so uh, with that being said over to Untapped they have it at 3.84 that's in their B plus range so I think it's a little tastier than that but again a lot of times when you see this and if somebody's actually got their hands on it somehow some way and uh, didn't have a date on it that they could see they may have taken some notches off for that so it's hard to tell what drives people to put what grades and like I said you could have the same beer to two different people sitting side by side and they're not going to give you the same grade I mean it's just not going to happen their pilots at different stages more than likely and what's going to be a 10 to this guy is going to be a 5 or a 6 maybe to this guy so, uh, so subjective so never ever base your buying priorities of what somebody is telling you unless you just want to try that so because it may be a 10 to them and again a 3 even to you so what's a 10 to me may not be to you and what's a 10 to you may not be to me so again we're not all looking for the same woman we ain't all looking for the same beer so with that being said if you've had improbability drive from Ventura Coast Brewing let me know what you think you'd be a lucky one if you've got one of one of a thousand cans produced so again Justin thanks a bunch till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge